Welcome to Kinderopia Read Alouds. I'm so happy that you're here today. I can't wait to read with you. What is something that makes you different? Something that none of your other friends can relate to? Something that makes you stand out? The book that we're about to read is about how everyone is unique in one way or another. Today, we're gonna read the book, The Only One Club. Please make sure to like and subscribe below to hear many more Kinderopia Read Alouds. Let's read in three, Two, one. Kinderopia, read alouds. The Only One Club, written by Jane Nallybaugh, illustrated by Jeff Hopkins. Today, we're all going to make Christmas decorations, Mrs. Matthews said as she handed out colored paper. Then we'll hang them on the classroom windows. Jennifer Jacobs' hand shot up. Yes, Jennifer, said Mrs. Matthews. Mrs. Matthews, I'm Jewish. I celebrate Hanukkah. Oh, said Mrs. Matthews. Are you the only one? Everyone looked around. No other hands went up. Well, Jennifer, it looks like you are. You can make Hanukkah decorations instead. Scissors cut, crayons colored, Laughter escaped and there were giggles galore as the children turned paper into pointy trees, striped stockings, chubby gingerbread people, and lots and lots of stars. Jennifer Star had six points instead of five. It's a star of David, she explained to Olivia. A Jewish star. Jennifer, said Mrs. Matthews, you may put up your Hanukkah decorations first. Jennifer proudly marched to the middle window and taped her stars, menorah, and chain of dreidels to the glass. Then she stood back to admire her work. One at a time, the other children put up their decorations. The classroom looked magical and smiles stretched across happy faces. Then the bell rang. Coats were grabbed, hats flew onto heads, feet jumped into boots, and hands pushed into mittens as everyone ran out the door, heading for home. I'm the only one in my class who's Jewish, Jennifer announced that night at dinner. I'm the only one who made Hanukkah decorations. I'm the only one whose stars have six points instead of five, and I got to put my decorations up first. That must make you feel special, her father said. After dinner, Jennifer took out her art supplies. She cut out a large orange circle and carefully edged it with glitter. Then, with her favorite marker, she wrote The Only One Club on it in big letters. She pinned the badge to her sweater for school the next day. Olivia Raven noticed The Only One Club badge right away. What's that for, she asked. I'm the only one in the class who's Jewish, Jennifer explained. So I started a club and I'm the only one in it. Jennifer skipped towards the classroom with Olivia right behind her. Can I join? Asked Olivia. No, said Jennifer. You celebrate Christmas. So that's not what your badge says. It says the only one club and I'm the only one in the class whose last name is a kind of bird. Jennifer stopped skipping and turned away. She wasn't sure what to say. Jonah noticed the glittery badge during lunch. What's the... Only one club, he asked with a mouthful of peanut butter. Can I join? You're not the only one of something, are you? Asked Jennifer. Maybe, said Jonah. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe I am. A minute later, Jonah shouted, I'm the only one in our class with red hair. Jennifer couldn't argue about that. Jonah McBride had the reddest hair she'd ever seen with a gazillion matching freckles. Hmm, Jennifer said. I have to think about it. Jonah gave her a raspberry, spraying peanut butter all over the lunch table. What's that badge for? Stephen whispered to Jonah after lunch. It's for the only one club, Jonah whispered back. Can I join? asked Stephen. Are you the only one? Jonah asked back. The only one what? Stephen asked. The only one who's something that no one else is, Jonah explained. But you'll have to ask Jennifer. She started the club and she's the only one in it. I want to be in it too, Stephen whined. I must be the only one of something. By the time afternoon recess was over, everyone had asked if they could join the only one club, and Jennifer didn't know what to say. Later, she overheard Olivia asking some kids if they wanted to start a not the only one club. Jennifer started to feel sad. When she got home from school, Jennifer went straight to her room. She knew what she needed to do. The next day, Jennifer lugged a large shoe box to school. What's in the box? Everyone asked. Line up in front of me and I'll show you, she announced. Jennifer opened the box very slowly. It was bursting with only one club badges. You can 
all be members of the Only One Club, Jennifer proclaimed as she handed out badges. Because Alex Martin, you're the only one in our class who was born on a bus. Nikki and Nina, you're the only identical twins in the whole school. Jonah McBride, you have the reddest hair and the most freckles of anyone in the class. Maybe even the whole universe, Jonah blushed. Gwen, you're the only girl who wears a dress every single day with ribbons to match. Gwen twirled around and around. Sam Lee, you are the only one with a pet iguana. Julia Martinez, you're the only one who can jump double dutch. Julia bounced on her toes. Michael Baker, you are the only first grader in the high math class. Olivia Raven, you're the only one whose last name is a bird. Olivia smiled as she ran around the room flapping her arms. And Stephen Whittier, you are the only one who has all of his big, and I mean humongous, front teeth. Stephen just grinned. Jennifer handed out badges until everyone in the class had one. When Mrs. Matthews came in, she faced a sea of glittery badges and joyful smiles. What's all this? She asked. It's the only one club, everyone yelled. And we're all members because we're all the only ones. Mrs. Matthews looked puzzled. You tell her, Jennifer, said Olivia. You started it. I started the club because I was the only one who was Jewish, Jennifer explained. But then everyone said they were the only ones of something. You're the only one here who isn't in our club, Mrs. Matthews. And since you're the only one, you can join too. Jennifer held out the biggest, most glittery badge of all. Mrs. Matthews proudly pinned it to her blouse. I'm really glad everyone's the only one of something, Jennifer said. Me too, Jennifer, said Mrs. Matthews. Me too. I just love how Jennifer chose to celebrate everyone's differences rather than laugh at them. It's so important to recognize that our differences are what make us, us. Thank you for reading with me. See you next time. Kinderopia, read alouds.